Have you ever pondered how we went from sweltering in the summer heat to enjoying the cool, refreshing air of an air-conditioned room? It's a modern comfort we often take for granted. Step outside and you'll feel the heat, but step back in, and it's like stepping into a different world. This world is not just in our homes, but it's also in our offices, shopping malls, and even our cars. So how did this all come to be? The answer lies in the fascinating history and evolution of air conditioning. The story of air conditioning begins in the 19th century with a man named Dr. John Gorey. An American physician, Gorey created a fascinating contraption, a machine that produced ice through compression. This was more than just a novelty. It was the cornerstone for modern air conditioning. Now, you might be wondering, why was this ice-making machine so important? Well, Gorey's invention was initially used for medical purposes, specifically to cool the rooms of patients suffering from yellow fever. He believed that maintaining a cool environment could help combat the disease. So, in a sense, the concept of air conditioning was born out of a desire to improve health conditions, not just for comfort. Although Gorey's invention did not gain immediate popularity, it sparked an idea that would revolutionize our way of life. Fast forward to the 20th century, Willis Carrier, an engineer, took Gorey's concept and transformed it into something much more practical. Carrier didn't just invent an apparatus to cool air, he crafted a system that could control temperature and humidity simultaneously. This was a game changer. In the sweltering summer of 1902, Carrier introduced his invention to the world. It was a mechanical marvel that not only cooled the environment, but also maintained optimal humidity levels. This made it incredibly useful for various industries, particularly those dealing with paper and textiles, which required specific environmental conditions to prevent spoilage. As the decades rolled by, air conditioning technology continued to evolve. It became more efficient, consuming less energy while delivering the same, if not better, cooling effects. The size of the units also shrunk, making them more accessible for residential use. The once bulky and noisy machines transformed into sleek, quiet systems that could be installed in most homes. By the mid-20th century, air conditioning was no longer a luxury for the wealthy, but a common household appliance. It revolutionized the way we lived, influencing architectural design and urban planning. Buildings could now be constructed with larger windows, and cities could grow in regions previously considered too hot for comfortable living. With time, air conditioning moved from a luxury to a necessity, shaping the architecture of our buildings and the structure of our cities. Today, air conditioning has become an essential part of our lives, serving purposes beyond just comfort. It is now indispensable in various sectors, each with its unique requirements. Data centers, for instance, rely heavily on air conditioning systems to keep servers cool and prevent overheating, thus ensuring uninterrupted digital services. In the medical field, air conditioning plays a vital role in maintaining sterile environments in hospitals, reducing the risk of infection spread. It also provides temperature control for storage of temperature-sensitive medicines and supplies. When it comes to transportation, be it cars, trains or planes, air conditioning systems ensure a comfortable journey, making long-distance travel more bearable. Furthermore, in our offices and homes, it contributes significantly to productivity by creating a comfortable working environment, especially during hot summer months. From a simple ice-making machine to a vital part of modern life, air conditioning has indeed come a long way. As we bask in the coolness of our air-conditioned spaces, it's worth appreciating the impact of this remarkable invention. Air conditioning has truly transformed our lives. It's done more than just cool our homes and workplaces, it's improved our health by filtering out pollutants and allergens, and it's boosted our productivity by creating comfortable environments where we can focus and thrive. But as we look to the future, there are challenges and opportunities ahead. Air conditioning systems consume significant amounts of energy, contributing to global warming. The industry is innovating to create more energy-efficient models and exploring alternative eco-friendly cooling methods. The potential for improving air conditioning is vast, from smart systems that learn our habits to designs that mimic nature's own cooling techniques. So next time you enjoy the relief of cool, conditioned air on a hot day, remember the ingenuity and evolution that brought us this modern marvel.